Wednesday, August 16th. I've been having a major tussle with a lot of people on Facebook over this, uh, over the statues down in, in Charlottesville and really the issue of whether or not there should be Confederate statues out in public view for honor. Um, let me just make myself clear on this. I believe, number one, that it should be up to the local community. For instance, Baltimore took it down last, took them all down last night, right on Baltimore. I mean, that was their decision. I think it was a great idea, and I'm happy they did it. And there was no problem, no violence, nothing, just taken down and gone. That's number one. But let's talk about what exactly we're talking about here. The, the Southern rebels were traitors. They committed treason against the United States of America. After an election, they were part of the Union. They didn't like what happened in the election. They turned their guns on Fort Sumter. They, 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 start, they, they, they shot the cannon at it and started the war. Robert E. Lee, Stonewall Jackson are traitors. I mean, they may have been told, hey, it's over. We like you. You're a valiant warrior. I hear that from everybody. But so what? They were still traitors. They went into this into this war saying, and many say about Robert E. Lee, I know slavery is wrong, but there is no buts about this. I've been hearing arguments from people saying, hey, it was an economic imperative. It was only an economic imperative because the slavers made it an economic imperative, and the, and the South decided, or most of the South, and, and, and some of the North, decided to have slaves to use them as human chattels to make money with them. And, and you can't look through it as a perspective of, wow, it was the 1800s. It was, slavery was pretty much outlawed all around the world. It didn't matter. And the fact is that when the war came, Robert E. Lee and the others had a chance to stand with the Union, to keep the Union together, to crush the rebellion of the traitors. And they didn't. They went over. Okay, so they were traitors and they committed treason. They were accepted for what they did afterwards, but hey, now let's look at it. We have in our in individual areas these ma major statues or major thoroughfares or major parks or whatever of these traitors and people committed treason against the United States. Of course people are going to get upset. Now, it makes sense to be in Gettysburg. Like I said, remember, it's up to each individual community. That's how I look at it. But just if I was up to me, it makes sense to be in Gettysburg. There was battlefield. It was everybody died there on both sides. But to sit there in major thoroughfares and to stick a big statue of Robert E. Lee when he led the slavers in their treasonous and traitorous actions to try to destroy the Union to make sure that slavery was ensconced as a real, true economic mover till infinity, impossible. Those people do not belong in a place of honor. Our history shouldn't be erased. Our history is important. This should be in a museum. You want to put statues in a museum? Fine. But don't sit there and say, which I'm, what I'm hearing from these people, look, everybody has the right to believe what they want. But don't sit there and just act like, hey, they were valiant, good people. They weren't. Don't sit there and say we're viewing it from a different lens. We're not. Slavery is just bad and everybody knew it. They knew it. You know, just take and beat people. Now, now we're hearing, we talked about this earlier, about Washington and Jefferson are going to take those statues down. What are you talking about? The president really has no perspective. It's sad. I, he had some talent. I thought he's done a couple good things. We're going to talk about that in, in other tapes. But, hey, you can't compare the two. Washington and Jefferson built a country. There would have been no United States of America if we had to have dealt with slavery per se as an issue when we were bringing the states together, we were basically before then just a confederation of states wandering around. If we had not brought the country together, we could not have dealt with slavery. We could not have destroyed slavery. And the way all of the, I mean, there's no excuse that they were slavers. George Washington, I believe, released his slaves upon his death, but still Thomas Jefferson was sleeping with one of his slaves. I mean, talk about total overseer type action. But 
they created the country. They, they, along with the other founders, created the country. And this country had ideals that the new people, and as immigrants came in, as people came in, as times changed, could take those ideals and take the next step and say, slavery is bad. Slavery is horrible. It's not bad. Slavery is uncalled for, and we have to rid our country of it. And people knew it, and they were right about it. And to put these treasonous traitors up in public view in a place of honor is wrong. That's how I feel. Everybody has a right to their own. Peace.